Good morning! Hi there! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going thrifting, which is so, so exciting. It is Memorial Day, so Salvation Army has everything, their whole entire store, for 50% off, which is amazing for a thrift store. I just woke up. I'm going to do a little bit of makeup. I'm going to eat some breakfast, drink my coffee, read my Bible, do everything normal, which is crazy. My husband in the back is <laughs> still sleeping, but I never wake up this early. I woke up like 30 minutes ago. It's only eight o'clock on a day off. <laughs> so I'm very excited that I'm up this early. day started. I'm parents with me. Hopefully they want to come. My friend didn't text me back, so I don't think she's coming. But I always like taking a second person just when it comes to thrifting because if I want to get something and I need a second eye, I can always text, but it's not the same thing as being there in person. So yeah. I'm going to get ready and hopefully I get a lot of good deals. I do have a budget. I'm going to try to limit myself. I don't need that much clothes. I really don't. I just love the excitement. We will find some dresses and I will take you guys with me today. So before I head out or anything, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys a little bit and tell you guys what I kind of got out of my devotions this morning. I have a plan on my on my phone. It's like the app, the Bible app, and I really like it because it tells you like what to read. Guys, I'm filming here. Please go somewhere else. These birds, <laughs> they're literally so distracting. So that I want to record them. They were literally fighting, and now they're gone. You can see them. They were literally wrestling themselves. Wow. Okay. There's so Sorry. many birds here that are so distracting. <laughs> like seriously, boy, move it. There's so many birds flying. So around. I encourage you. Um, I was reading Numbers and you know all the the Old Testament. It's kind of sometimes it's hard to really focus on because it's just and he begat this person and this person. Uh, had this many sons, Leviticus and Numbers, it can be hard. And the thing I do for that is you can obviously get something out of it, but I play on audio so someone is reading it to me and then I, I kind of can concentrate a lot more because I feel like if I don't do that in the harder chat, like the harder books, then I'm just going to be like, okay, why am I reading this? It's kind of boring and, and there's nothing here <laughs> that, you know, is useful. But I mean, God wrote it for a reason and we need to read his word anyway. So I encourage you to read aloud. I, I've i been reading my Bible out loud and it's actually really been help, super helpful. And I like listen to it and then kind of grasp it a lot better. And I feel like that's helped me. And then listening to someone else read the Bible when it's, when you're kind of like, <laughs> oh, I, hopefully you guys are encouraged to read your Bible. Oh, oh my word, I see a red cardinal. This is really distracting. <laughs> Reading your Bible outside can be so much fun, but I've literally seen squirrels jumping off trees, birds wrestling, so it can be a little distracting. <laughs> but I love reading the Bible outside. There's nothing like it, and it's just like God, God's presence is everywhere, but something about being outside and his creation with his creatures, like, oh my word, there's... <laughs> Wow, it's been so distracting today. <laughs> I mean, I literally, that's why I also read out loud because I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to focus because all these birds are literally crying. They were wrestling and the birds were being super obnoxious. But anyway, I encourage you to read your Bible wherever you feel like you're more comfortable. I love reading outside. It's just what I do and I love it so much. Um, the backyard and your, you know, if the thing is i don't have a lot of windows so i don't get any sunshine in the morning so oh, i like reading outside so anyway hopefully you guys are encouraged to read your bible out loud and if you you know listen to it that's even better but just listen to god and really whatever he has something for you in his word he does and he wants to speak to you and you just gotta listen so I'll see you guys um, later. Here, I'm picking up my parents, and then we're gonna head out. Um, at this specific Salvation Army, you have to bring your own bag. 
I have a reusable bag because they don't give up bags. So that's what we have to bring. Hopefully they don't make us wear masks because I have not been wearing mask, masks anywhere. I went to Aldi, Walgreens, Target, like a bunch of stores I haven't been demanding a mask since the thing mandate was lifted. So I hope not because I'm not going to wear one if I don't have to. So my daddy's coming. Hi daddies. I can't show the house. Okay, so far I think we have successfully windled down to just a couple things. I don't need it. Oh, these glasses I want to buy. I literally don't need anything. It's just some things to re, re resell. These are cute, aren't they? So anyway, <gasps> these are Toms. What size are these? Oh my word, Toms are literally ill. That's disgusting. Toms are the best. Literally. I cannot read enough about Toms. And I found some. Woo woo. Oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. It's a little jacket. I do like it, except it's like this. Alright, so back at my parents. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. I scored some good things that, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about. Okay, this was not half off, but I actually got some Alex and Annie bracelets. They were really cute. And they're, I like this one because it has texture. It's, they're both kind of texturized, but aren't they so cute? It's nothing that I've seen. These are very unique. So they were $4 each. But they weren't on sale. But I had to get me some Alex and Annie because hello. Where am I gonna find these adorable bracelets? Um, for that cheap. So I got those. I need to take these off for a second. And these aren't usually Alex and Annie, they fit me pretty big, but these fit really well. So I got these two bracelets. I also got these sunglasses. I have one pair of sun sunglasses. They're super old and I told myself I wasn't going to buy new sunglasses until they broke the other ones. But these are super cute. Um, they have like this re really cool design and I just really liked them and they were $2 so I just got them. And I like putting them on my head like this. So this is all the stuff I got. So let's get into it. Again, I got some really good things I'm so happy about. Starting off with... Um, so clothes was 50% off and then certain colors were 50% off for shoes and other accessories so not everything was 50% off but I still think I scored because I said in another vlog that I was not going to buy shoes if they were not Tom's and I got some Tom's these are so cute they have little bears inside oh what are these they have little animals inside they're so adorable but they're brown, so they're going to go with everything. Obviously, I love Tom's. I can't rave enough about them. They're the only shoe that doesn't hurt my feet. And I told myself I wasn't going to buy shoes that are not Tom's. So, there you go. I got a neutral, neutral color. The next pair of shoes that I got, I spent 45 bucks for all this stuff. So, that was good. The next pair of shoes I got were not Toms, but they're Crocs. And Crocs are almost identical to Toms. Well, not really identical, but they also don't hurt my feet. So I've been wanting to get a pair of Crocs for the longest time. I have to wash them obviously and disinfect all this stuff, but so excited about these. They're my size. I was wearing them throughout the thrift store and they are literally the most comfortable things you'll ever wear. So Crocs. So excited about these. On to some clothing items. So I didn't get that much stuff for myself. Some of this stuff I end up reselling. So I got this cute Under Armour long sleeve shirt to work out or whatever. It's fitted and it's so small. 
Don't know exactly if it's going to fit me. If not, I can always resell. This is probably my favorite find. You guys, I think I screamed when I saw this. Vineyard Vines. In my size for two bucks. Oh my goodness. I just, I literally still don't understand how I got this, but I got a Vineyard Vines sweater. I'm stoked. So excited. So this was $2. I cannot believe that I found this. So I'm very excited that I did. I also got, this is like an olive-y color vest. And this is more like a fall piece, but I already have one, but I don't love the one I have. So I might sell the one I have or this one. But I really like this piece because it's very versatile. You can wear it with different things. I also got this Under Armour hoodie. This is cute. I don't know if I'm going to keep this yet. I'm not like a super sporty person, but this is really adorable. If not, it's always a good resell kind of piece. I don't know what size it is because they took off the tag. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to... Uh, I think it's like a medium, maybe? But anyway, I'm going to... I think it's like a large. I don't know. I can't really tell. It's probably like a medium. I'm going to say ML. Medium large. But this does fit me. So if I end up keeping it, I'll just keep it. <laughs> so then we got... What is this? Oh, these are just like comfy PJ pants that we don't need to look at. Another piece I was so excited about was this adorable Shein like blouse. Isn't this adorable? It looks so adorable super cute love the pattern on this this was one of my first things that i saw i was so excited and that is basically it oh and this this was not half off either but it was five bucks oh i got this for um someone this is not for me i got this cute backpack it's i don't know how to pronounce this Herschel? Herschel. Isn't this so cute? It was $5. This for traveling, it has like a little stain kind of thing. I'm going to try to take it off. But obviously that's why they gave it away. But it's in mint condition. Super good. Super cute. I love the color. But for traveling, this is definitely a perfect bag or even to go like on a trip. So I got this adorable pink pack hat and backpack. And that is it. But I'm telling you, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but I end up with a cart that is like, I fill it up and then from there I dwindle it down to just the necessities and I'm like, well, I don't know if I want this or not. Is something burning? There's a lot of smoke coming out of that building. So yeah, I didn't get a lot of items for myself. I just got literally two things that I might keep and the rest I'm just going to try to... I'm trying to sell a bunch of my clothes anyway. So I'm just so excited. Like this to me was worth the trip because I've been wanting one of these. The hype is real. And one of my friends is obsessed with vineyard vines. So I texted her right away. Like, oh my goodness, I found vineyard vines. And then just the little knickknacks. So that is all I got. Hopefully you guys like this vlog. I know it's kind of longer since it started in the morning, but let me know if you guys want to see more thrift hauls. I love doing thrift hauls. I love thrifting. I love doing anything to do with thrifting. So if you guys want to see more videos, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!